Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna do Freedom Fighters issue number nine from DC Comics. So yeah, I wanna apologize for yesterday because I was so caught up in renovation. Uh, so I couldn't make a video. Uh, yeah, that, that sucks because I wanted to do uh, comic reviews every day. Uh, this was one of those times that I couldn't do it because I was just so busy and I was beat uh, when I, you know, was done with it. Well, I'm not really done with it, but you know. Um, so, uh, we're going to continue with our reviews today on, on, on this lovely Sunday. So guys, um, if you like my uh, channel and you want to support me, uh, subscribe to my channel. You know, I'm almost at 500 subscribers. That would be amazing if I could reach that pretty soon. Um, but for now, let's dive in. And if you want to know what the story is, check out my uh, other Freedom Fighters review on issue number nine on my channel. And uh, like my video, leave a comment, you know, also leave a comment in this video. Like I said, it helped me a lot with the algorithm. Uh, so, like the cover, you know, this is a merry commando. And he's um, saying to the kids that the freedom fighters are the enemies of America, right? And it seems that he has just captured them because now he is the leader of the Crusaders. Now, the Crusaders are a comic book characters. Yes, I know these are comic book characters too, but in this, you know, the, the real universe, they are comic book characters brought back to life. How? We don't know. But it seems that the American Mando, who is actually an old enemy, presumably dead, called the Silver Ghost, he was responsible for framing the Freedom Fighters in the eyes of the police and also the man who's about to be their executioner, right? And um, so this book is from the 70s. This is also that... 1970s dialogue that made me laugh a lot. It's it's corny, uh, but it's fun. So he basically wants to electrocute them, right? Uh, but he cannot, you know, stay here because he must return to his unwitting allies, the Crusaders. Can't let them find out they're being duped, <laughs> he says. But then we have Lois Lane, <clears throat> I mean, Marfa Roberts, who's a TV reporter, and she's splashing some water on Namor, I mean, Barracuda. And I don't know where she is getting that glass. Um, so Barracuda, who was one of those um, other heroes, you know, that's fighting the freedom fighters because they are thinking that they are, you know, evil guys. He says, um, where are the freedom fighters? If they are escaped, the Barracuda will. They haven't escaped. Your partner, America Commando, took them all somewhere to kill them. He looks a little bit, well, he looks a lot like Namor. I mean, he has this pointy ears, he has this wings on his feet. So I believe he's more like a crossing between Aquaman and Namor, I guess, right? So she says that, um, you know, that American Mando is a, 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 the Silver Ghost. But then, oh, no, he's here. And she says, hey, that's an inter interesting theory, Miss Roberts. Um, but it's only a story. The Freedom Fighters got away. Um, and you are trying to uh, <laughs> cover their escape. And uh, I'm not sure what's with the resolution. Here we go. Um, so um, she says, hey, don't believe her. Uh, he speaks to the Barracuda. She's, after all, a bleeding heart reporter who has been sympathetic towards those fugitives since they first broke out of jail. And she says, bleeding heart? I know the truth about you, mister. She just get smacked in the face. And say, yeah, shut up, woman. But the Barracuda doesn't stand for that. He says, hero or not, you're not going to lay your hands on any woman. Um, and, and he says, then you won't stand. Okay, so there's a brief fight. And um, so we see what the Barracuda can do. He says, the monarch of the ocean bows to no man, not even you, leader. It's time you learn the ways of the sea, where the mightiest creatures is king. The same rules apply on land, which is why I lead the Crusaders. So yeah, everything is back to normal. So he's ordering the rest of the, the Crusaders to, uh, to uh, go to, uh, um, you know, uh, track down uh, the, uh, the 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 freedom fighters, right? And uh, they are heading west. And he says, "I will return to New York and to report to District Attorney Pearson. Miss Roberts will accompany me." Now move out. <laughs> Look at these cool old toys, you know, from back in the day. Um, so um, he, he, he boasts and gloats and he says, hey, I'm going to take you where I'm going to murder, or maybe they are already murdered, the freedom fighters, and you're going to join them in death or something like that, right? Um, meanwhile, 
Now we have this this the seventies language, right? That speak it's, it's hilarious. Now, so the Ray hears here. He says, "Holy Hannah! If the juice goes on before we get free, we are in our <laughs> we in for the shock of our lives." Who boy, you bad news tonight, Terrell. Nothing like morbid jokes. <laughs> That's actually still weirdly enough funny. Anyway, so the others are still uh, in, as he called it, dreamland. So the generator is, generator is starting up. So he has only one choice, to, um, to absorb the power until they wake up. So he's shouting, for, hey, wake up, Tom Sandy. And then, uh, the other, um, how do you say um, why am I forgetting? Ah, uh, oh man. Uncle Sam. Yeah, right. Uncle Sam wakes up and he says, Foderation! And he then pulls out. <laughs> I, know, I didn't know they have a plug <laughs> in giant generators. But um, all right. So he saves the day and he is releasing some um, of that energy back into the generator again, you know, powering the city again. So uh, they're kind of flying away because they need to prove, right, that they are innocent, right? And. Um, but then American Mando comes with Marfa here and they are escaped. And she says, well, there's only one thing you can do and that is kill me, right? And she sure, I sure hide, hope the fighters return to save me. But he says, much as I like to, my dear, I'm afraid I can't oblige as yet. With those crusader heroes alive, you can better serve as me as a hostage. It worked before, you know, probably in some other book, right? So, um, okay, so they're going to fly back to Manhattan and... Um, well, Condor and uh, the rest are engaging um, in the rest of the, the Crusaders, right? Uh, so we have this Barracuda guy and I believe this Torch guy called Sparky or Fireball. Fireball, I guess. And then the Ray, I believe the Ray is probably the, the most powerful member of this, this group. And he's blasting uh, the, 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 his electric charge against uh, these people, stunning them. I like this pose, but it would be better if it was like this. Right? And then we see a little bit better. But, you know, I don't mind. So, um, I mean, speaking of old 70s stuff, look at this. Exploding fountain pen. Uh, we have a magic brain calculator. And what is this? Secret safe, freezing powder, snowstorm tablets. What? Free things. Um, right? Hypno coin. <laughs> oh my god um, potato gun you can all buy for I don't know buck atomic joy buzzer <laughs> so what is this right <laughs> it's just fun anyway <clears throat> so they all falling down <clears throat> what's with the re resolution here we go and then toy man <clears throat> who has I don't know, apparently mental powers also looks like Superman, in my opinion, a little bit, to cushion their fall. I didn't know that mental powers work that way because they are, I don't know, mental powers. They are not telekinetic or something. But hey, comics, right? So uh, he's interrogating this star-spangled buddy <clears throat> and he wants to know where American Mando is. And he says, well, they went to New York. And the newsmonger, newswoman, Martha Roberts, with him? What? Well, Get off me, you squirt. And um, so he says to uh, the Ray, hey, we need to go after them. <clears throat> so they're going to do that. It's a long walk, chum. So why don't you, why, so why don't I give you a lift? Our buddies can handle a four on four situation. But then the Barracuda is attacking um, Uncle Sam with the Trident, right? And um, he says, um, you're fair comrade against, fair well against my comrade, Uncle Sam, but you taste death from Barracuda. Dang damn it, Sonny. Then <laughs> when you... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so hilarious. <laughs> when your people are going to realize I embody the spirit of America. And that's not an easy thing to kill. Suffering seals, you bet my trident. Dang tootin' I did. <laughs> now I'm gonna bend you. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Dang tootin'. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so it's so hilarious. Meanwhile, uh, I, I believe. Um, sorry, just, 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 
Maybe it's because of the light that the resolution is changing all the time now. So uh, this guy is, uh, you know, encapsulated. Then it's trying to snare the human bomb with his flame, right? And so the human bomb takes off his glove. And um, so I believe Fireballs is coming at him. And he says, hot enough for you? Don't let it bother you because I'm going to let you out cold. So it's so stupid, so corny. <laughs> and then he does uses his fist to punch him in the face. That's what you think. What do you know? Even KO, my KO even snuffed his Bunsen burner. <laughs> and what he means with KO? Is that like a knockout, like KO? But they said it like KO. <laughs> it's just so, it's so funny. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the weakest member gets a licking uh, because, yeah, mostly of these flyers are just, I don't know, they can only fly, right? And, and they can punch a little bit here, but mostly they're useless. But then... Um, um, Phantom Lady comes in, punches the guys in the face. Um, the, the flame dude is trying to, to, to hurt her, but, you know, she's getting uh, intangible. And, um, and, 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 okay, so they are, you know, kicking and, and punching and all that stuff. But then suddenly, I don't know, it's, 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 it's over. That, that was it. <laughs> so Uncle Sam says, well, humans, I reckon we whoop your favorite square, and now you owe us some information. And, um, yeah, I like you, how your comic book characters turn out to be real. Um, so, um, the Fireball says, uh, well, it's, it was all America commandos doing. So it seems that you are just comic book nerds on some kind of a convention, I guess. And uh, American Commando comes here and he says, hey, I can turn you into super superheroes. And that, I don't know, some kind of a finger magic turns him into superheroes. It's just that easy, right? And um, all right. So Uncle Sam wants to know where, uh, who, who American Commando is, right? Uh, we don't know for now. Meanwhile, American Commando and, and Marfa is just flying um, to Manhattan. And then we have the Ray and Doll Man. He says, I didn't expect him to find him so fast. If I recall my old comic books, the real American Commando couldn't fly. So um, they're engaging in, into um, into a fight, right? And uh, but the American man says, "Hey, it would be foolish for you to attack because I have a, a hostage, right?" And then um, Marfa says, "Daryl, he really is the sil silver commando, oh, the silver commando. That's right, you minute past, but you never live to tell anybody." Uh, so he's he's dropping him down. So Daryl is falling, and um, right, but. Um, the Ray blinds this guy, goes after him, uh, but it doesn't matter because he has mental powers or, you know, s yeah, to save himself. Like, a sh I don't know, how does that work? And uh, I don't know, but uh, Ray uh, um, punches him and uh, he releases then the girl and she's falling. Uh, Ray goes after her and uh, American Commando escapes, right? And then uh, <clears throat> she's all uh, shooked up. And uh, so Ray says, come on, Daryl, she'll be okay for a few minutes. Let's get the Silver Ghost. And then Martha says, Daryl, don't leave me alone. He's going to get away. Please, Daryl. Uh, I lost Martha Roberts once before because fighting was more important. I can't let it happen again. So Ray didn't like that. He says, I try to remember that while I'm trading punches with that bozo. Pal! <laughs> so Marfa thinks she can help because she can testify that the Silver Ghost is still alive and the Freedom Fights can be cleared now. Now, I'm not sure how that works. I mean, don't you have, I don't know, need evidence for that? So since American Mando is not, I don't know, captured. Um, all right, well, we're nearing the end. So then we see Dollman into the office of District Attorney David Pearson. And uh, so David Pearson is, is afraid because he thinks that these are criminals, right? So he's punching some kind of a button for help, some kind of a buzzer, right? So Dahlman says, I realize there's a better way than running from the law. So he says, what are you doing? Not me. No, don't. And then he, I don't know, shoots him. Oh, my God. He just murdered Mr. Pearson. What happened here? Um, I want to know. And... I, and do, do I have issue number 10? I hope so. I need to get this. I, I want to know what's going on. <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun. Um, and exciting too, because now we have a very cool cliffhanger. I mean, is this the real doll man? What happened? Um, great stuff. Guys, let me know what you think about this comic. See you next time. Bye-bye.